good afternoon, wherever you may be. I am the Crypto Crow. Thank you for joining me. And I'm hoping that today I teach you guys something that's going to answer a lot of the questions I've been getting all over the place. I'm getting questions on Facebook and Telegram and pretty much everywhere. Uh, so I'm hoping to do this video and try and explain things uh, in a way that it'll be easy to understand for everybody. <clears throat> And it'll make things just easier for you to do. Now, it, for the, for some of you guys, you've watched my video, Make a Million Dollars in Crypto in 2021. Uh, and I don't take that title lightly, as you'll see in the video. Uh, and, and I show you a lot of things about Cardano, uh, which has been my favorite blockchain project since 2017. And it's really starting to come to fruition. A lot of the protocols from Shelly, Gogan, Voltaire is coming in the future. Uh, and, and, and I really truly believe that Cardano is going to be one of the top blockchains in the industry, um, especially after Gogan launches sometime this month, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So, but one of the things that you can do with Cardano is stake it. By staking, basically what you're doing is you're, you, you, you're maintaining the Cardano you own in your wallet. It doesn't go anywhere. You're not giving it away. You're not sending it to somebody. You always maintain it. You own it. It's on your wallet. But ultimately what you're doing is in a way, um, I don't know, think of it like an Airbnb, I guess. It's probably the easiest way of maybe explaining it in an analogy. In other words, you own the home, but you're charging somebody to rent a room. And that's kind of like what staking is. In other words, it's it's still my home. It's still here, but I'm letting somebody else use it for the sake of further decentralizing the network and basically supporting the blockchain as a whole. And in return, I'm getting rewards. I'm getting uh, a return on that uh, investment because I'm because I'm staking it and I'm not trading it and I'm not doing other things with it. Ultimately, it makes the network stronger, and in in all at the same time, it, it basically <laughs> leaves less uh, ADA on the market. Uh, so it's going to help the price. So the more people are staking it, basically the better it is for everybody. Uh, and you can turn it on or off if you delegate it, which is staking. If you're delegating to a particular pool. Uh, you can stop delegating at any time. If you want to change wallets or send somewhere or spend it or do something with it, you can do it. You have complete control is basically the point. Uh, but I would highly encourage you to watch this video, uh, the full thing. It's only 24 minutes long. It's at about, uh, you're getting close to 6,000 views. I just put it out on the 31st, so it's not doing too bad. And um, watch this video in full because I think it's going to help you quite a bit. Now, Another question that I'm getting a lot of, uh, you know, people that are buying Cardano and they see it go up and then they see it go down. This is common. For those of you that are new to cryptocurrencies and you don't quite understand what's happening, there is a significant ebb and flow to the overall cryptocurrency market. And if I look at just the market in general, yesterday, Bitcoin was at $12,000. Right now, it's at 11352 And you see the very big downward spike and I can pull it up in charts and everything else you'll see that Cardano is also down eight and a half percent uh Ethereum is down nine and a half percent and and these ebbs and flows are significant and a lot of them are spawned by news like recently we just we just saw that the bit thumb one of the biggest Bitcoin exchanges in uh Singapore if I'm not if I'm I'm pretty sure that's accurate it's in the Singapore was just rated for fraud OK, and there is a lot um, there's a lot of FUD going on in the market on any given day. This project, this company, this exchange, you name it. It's the Wild West of crypto, which is one of the reasons why I believe so thoroughly in Cardano overall. Um, so and without get, you, and, and you can learn you can learn a lot about that stuff in the other video. So what basically what we what you're going to need to do, a you want to learn how to buy it. Then you want to know how to stake it, okay? Okay, so basically, there's it's a bit of a process. If you're brand new to cryptocurrency and none of this stuff makes sense to you, it's going to be a little, ooh, you're going to get a little anxiety because you want to make sure you don't want to mess things up, right? And so it, it can it's a little difficult at first, but once you've gone through the processes and you understand 
um, just kind of the the basic elements of buying and holding cryptocurrency and so forth. It'll be it'll be so easy for you moving forward. I promise. So I made kind of a little uh, line item here to explain the overall process, and then we're going to dive deeper into it. Number one, you're going to need a Coinbase account. Okay, uh, it's one of the it's a U.S. regulated fiat on ramp, which means. It's one of the few exchanges out there in the world that is, A, not only U.S. regulated, which means the government's watching them, right? Uh, but it's where you can basically utilize your bank account or a credit card to purchase something like Bitcoin, okay? So we, we call that a fiat on-ramp. Fiat being like your USD currency or your yuan or whatever it is, wherever you are, okay? So once you've acquired that, now there's a link below in the description, uh, and if you use that link, you and I both are going to get $10 in free Bitcoin once you've confirmed your account. So, you, so right there, you're already going to get some free Cardano, okay? Uh, I highly encourage you to use a 12-digit password. Do not use the same password you use on everything else. Do not save it into your browser. You want to write this down in a ledger book of some kind and then lock that ledger book away for when you need it. Uh, you're going to want to use Authenticator, like Google uh, Two-Factor Authenticator is very good. I would suggest you putting your Authenticator app on something that's not necessarily connected to the internet, such as an iPod or an iPad maybe that's not connected on Wi-Fi and you don't really use it for anything, okay? And then you're going to need to confirm your bank account, your AML and KYC. It's not AMLY, the typo. Then you're going to need to download the Daedalus Wallet. Okay, now, when you download the Daedalus wallet, again, there are direct links in the description, you're going to need to let that wallet sync, which means you're basically downloading the entire Cardano blockchain. It's going to take about an hour, okay, roughly, depending on your internet speed. I just did this on my demo, which I'm going to show you, and it took about an hour to download and sync 100%. So when you download it, you're and you because you don't understand, you're like, well, this is still this is syncing. What is this? What is this? Why is it taking so long? How long does it take? Just let it go. Don't mess with it. Download it, open it, let it sync up, let it download the blockchain, give it about an hour or so. You can see it in the top right corner, which I'll show you. It'll tell you how far along it is. Don't freak out. You're literally downloading all of the blocks associated with the Cardano blockchain to date. Okay. Um and then you're going to create your new ADA wallet. You're going to use another 12-digit password different from the first one. You're going to write down your seed phrase and your password and keep them both safe. When you've created this new wallet, you're going to get a bunch of words. There's going to be about 15 little words. And you're going to write each of them down in order and you're going to keep that safe. Because that one string of 15 words will enable you to, like, let's say something happens to your computer, okay? And this is the beauty of these seed phrases. If something happens to your computer, uh, maybe it's a meltdown or whatever, as long as you've got that paper, as long as you have that seed phrase, you can buy a brand new computer, download the Daedalus wallet, and restore that wallet with just those 15 words, and everything will still be there, okay? So it's really, really important that you write them down, write them down clearly, and make sure you keep them safe. Hell, laminate them if you want to, okay? And then the other part of this is creating like a KuCoin account or another exchange, whatever exchange you prefer that holds Cardano, and I'm going to show you about that. You're going to register your account. You're going to complete your AML KYC. What is AML KYC? It's anti-money laundering and know your customer. These exchanges, especially regulated exchanges, need to know where you're from and what they can allow you to do on their platform. A lot of exchanges are getting kind of beat up because they're doing a lot of fraudulent stuff. They don't do the AML KYC. Some of them don't do it until you're trying to withdraw like a Bitcoin or more. They'll kind of let you go if you're just doing little trades and things like that. Uh, but depending on the size of your account, uh, you may very well need to do that in order to withdraw. Uh, again, another 12-digit password. Write it down and use two-factor authentication. So you're going from Coinbase where you're buying Bitcoin to the exchange. I'm just using KuCoin as an example. I don't even have a referral link for them. Uh, and then from your KuCoin or your exchange, you're going to send your ADA from that account to your Daedalus wallet, and then you're going to be able to delegate your ADA from there. Okay, so let's move forward. 
Uh, if we're looking at CoinGecko, this is CoinGecko.com, and I've got Cardano pulled up here. Now, what kind of information can you find? Well, you can see the current price is about 11, uh, 11 cents. And uh, trading volume is around $473 million in trading volume right now. At least that's reported volume. There's 31 billion tokens in, in total circulation, so forth and so on. Now, if I come down to this page, I can click markets. And these are all of the exchanges that you can buy Cardano on. Okay? So some of these exchanges are actually U.S.-based and U.S.-regulated. Uh, but they're not flagged on here. Maybe coin market cap. Uh, so Kraken, Kraken, you can actually. I might even use Kraken over uh, KuCoin, to be frank. Um, but Kraken is not a bad exchange at all. Um, Bitthumb is the the exchange that just got busted for fraud, so you might want to stay a, a rated at least. Um, Bitrix. I used to love Bitrix, especially for bot trading, but uh, I, they're, they're a lot more stringent now. Um, Binance US. So if you are in the United States, you can now buy, because uh, on the original Binance, the only way you can trade on Binance today, the regular Binance, is if you had a legacy account, an account before they created Binance US, which is primarily for US-based residents. So you might want to try setting up a Binance US account. Okay, even above um, KuCoin. Like I said, it was just an example. Binance US is probably going to be pretty decent for you. And you can buy it with USD, USD Tether. Okay, um, and this is another exchange that, that <clears throat> should be, I mean, it should be okay. You can see the trust scores along here. They start getting yellow as you go down. BitRu is used by a lot of different places. And um, a lot of people like that exchange. You can buy your Cardano directly with Bitcoin on BitRu. So that's that's kind of the gist of it. I mean, find an exchange that works for you that'll let you set up an account wherever you are. Uh, if you're in the United States, you know, and you know, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and you're gonna buy Bitcoin that you're then gonna use to get into Cardano or ADA. Some of these exchanges might offer Cardano for, you know, different things, like this is USD. So what you might have to do is you send your, your um, your Coinbase Bitcoin, you send that over to the exchange account and you just buy whatever you need. Most exchanges are going to let you buy Cardano with Bitcoin, okay? So there shouldn't be much of a problem there. Uh, but if for whatever reason you need to convert your Bitcoin into something else like a USD Tether or a USD token or something like that to make the exchange, it's very simple to do. All right. Now, this is Coinbase. I'm not going to explain exactly how to set up an account because it's pretty self-explanatory, but you're, you just click get started. So it's Coinbase. You just click the link below. Um, you'll get a bonus for using that link. You'll set up your account. You'll verify your account. You might have to upload your identification. You might have to, um, you'll, you'll set up your bank account. And another thing while you're at it is I would, especially if you're new, once your account is set up, you can earn a pretty nice chunk of change in cryptocurrency by doing these little courses that teach you about the various blockchains available within the Coinbase platform. So, and you'll earn like $6 in this and $7 in that, $50 here, $50 there. It adds up. And you, if you wanted, you can convert it all into, you can sell it all back into Bitcoin and then, you know, go get yourself some more ADA if you want. Or you can just leave it in these, in, in the tokens that you earn. But you'll start collecting a nice, um, a nice little portfolio of cryptocurrencies while you're learning about why they exist and what they do. So I definitely encourage you to do that. And um, Coinbase is one of the few exchanges that I know of that actually offer stuff like this. So take advantage of it. Um, this is KuCoin again, just for example's sake. But you just you sign up like you will anywhere else, just like you did on Coinbase. You're going to set up your account. You're going to verify your account. And it's going to be very easy for you. Now, what we're going to do from here is we're going to look at the Daedalus wallet. Now, if you go click the link below, you're going to see this page. You can do this on Mac OS 64-bit, Linux 64-bit, or Windows 8.1 and 10 64-bit. So you download the wallet. Once you've downloaded the wallet, this is basically what you're going to see. Okay. 
And up here is where you can see that it says blocks synced 100%. So if I were to leave this wallet running, then I won't have any like wait times in the future. But if I were to close this out right now and come back in an hour, it'll probably say 99.8% synced. And it'll take a few minutes to catch up. Um, because the when the wallet's offline, it's not downloading these blocks. It's not maintaining its sync, right? So that's what's happening there. Now, because this is a brand new wallet, we need to create a new one. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a wallet. I'm going to name this the... Crypto Crow Demo Wallet, all right? And then I'm gonna pick a password. And for this sake, I'm not doing 12 because I'm. this is going to the trash anyway when I'm done. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat that. All right, create Shelly Wallet. I'm going to confirm on the following screen, you'll be given a list of 24 words to write down on paper and keep in a safe place. This list of words is the wallet recovery phase phrase for the wallet you are creating. This is what you want to make sure you write down and keep safe no matter what. It's very simple, but you got to do it. So this is, this is going to be the recovery phrase for this wallet. So I've written down my recovery phrase. Uh, yes, I have written it down, my wallet recovery phase. So now it's asking me to input it back, okay? It's a little bit of a process, I know. So I'm going to basically write this thing down. I write it out. All right. That was it. So once you've once you've typed it all back in, um, proving that you wrote it down, they want to make sure you write it because this is extremely important. Uh, yes, I understand. I understand. Confirm. Now it's created my demo wallet, and all you guys know the keys and everything. There's never going to be anything on it, but <laughs> this whole thing's getting trashed because I don't do this stuff on this computer now. Your transaction history for this for this wallet is being synced with the blockchain. Well, there is no transaction history, but it doesn't know that until it's confirmed through all of the blocks that we've already synced up and downloaded down here. So once this process is complete, I will have, so right now, the balance and transaction history of this wallet is 8.51% synced with the blockchain. So this will probably take a little while as well. And once that's complete, then we'll come back and I'll show you about send and receive addresses and how to delegate your ADA. All right, so now that the wallet is completely synced, we still have nothing on it. So what I wanted to show you is, which can be a little confusing for newcomers that don't necessarily understand, is this is your send and receive, okay? These are all the different receiving addresses associated with this wallet. So you can copy these and 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 use them to send stuff. So what's going to happen is if you are on... Uh, so you're gonna you're starting off on Coinbase, right? And you're buying Bitcoin. Well, in your Coinbase account, you're gonna have a send and receive button, just like these, and that that's gonna be where I'm, I either want to send my Bitcoin out to an address, or I want to receive Bitcoin to that wallet's address. So these are the receive addresses for this wallet for for ADA only. If you try to send Bitcoin to any of these wallet addresses. It'll, you, they're gone. They're like, they're, it won't work. So that's where you have to be very careful and you need to make, make sure that you're not mixing up addresses, okay? So when you are on Coinbase, you're going to be clicking send and then on whatever other exchange, whether it's KuCoin or Kraken or whatever, whatever other exchange you're using to buy the ADA, then you're going to get the receive address to your, your Bitcoin receive address, all right? So when you go into one of these um, when you go into one of these wallets, you're going to see like, uh, let's see here. So these are the markets, um, on, on KuCoin, right? And so once I've sent my Bitcoin to my KuCoin wallet address, uh, for Bitcoin, I will be able to start purchasing what I want in that market. Here's ADA BTC right now. So if I click this, this should open up a market hub. All right. And so this is an assets overview, and this is showing the charts. I know it all looks super complicated, but it's really not. Because down here, which you can't see, so let's bring this up some. Okay. <laughs> all right. 
So down here is where I'm going to put basically put my market order. Um, now, if you want, if you think that the, the Cardano's price is going to go down, you can set a limit order and just say, I just, you know, I'll buy it for as long as it's th at this price. Uh, and you can kind of gauge, but this is a little more complicated. You don't need to necessarily worry so much about this. Um, but this is where you're going to buy it. And so you're going to see like your Bitcoin amount. And then you're going to say, okay, I want to spend 100%. You can click 100%. 100% of my Bitcoin, I want to use to buy ADA. And then you'll put in the order. And like if I were logged in, it would say buy or sell. But I'm not logged in because I don't have an account. Um, so, but that's it. And then you'll see down here that your order's being filled. Okay. So, and then once you have that, from there, you'll end up going into your assets tab, which you'll see when you're logged in. And then in your assets tab, you'll see what little bit of, you know, dust you have left in Bitcoin. And then you'll see how much you have of your ADA. And then from there, you're going to click send um, next to ADA. And then that's when you're going to basically copy one of these addresses and you're going to paste it into the send on your exchange. And that's basically saying, I want to send my ADA from this exchange to this wallet address. All right. It sounds more complicated than it is, but it's it's really not. Once, once you're in there, you're logged in, you've set up your accounts and you have access to those things, they'll pop up, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I promise it's not complicated. So from there, you'll, you'll have your wallet and you should see like how much ADA you have on that wallet. And then from there, you want to delegate. That's this tab here. You're going to see delegation center um, and then your stake pools and then you'll have rewards and info okay so the stake pools this is where you're going to go to punch in whatever node you want to stake to i my my node is crow it's the crow node okay and from here if i just punch in crow i plug this in i can just delegate to this pool boom done that's it so I can say, I want to delegate to that pool. I'll hit continue. It'll say there's like a tiny little fee associated with it. I hit continue and that's it. I'm staked. And then from there, every time the crow node produces a block, I'll get reward. I will be earning rewards for that. That's it. Like it's really that simple. Um, it, it's you're, 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 you're not sending your ADA anywhere. You're not doing anything crazy with it. You're just clicking state pools. You plug in CRO. And these numbers, I don't think mean much because they change constantly. Um, and to show you that, I will get rid of this. And we're going to go here. This is uh, the explorer for these nodes. This is the crow node. And you'll see estimated blocks in this whole epoch. So far, we've minted four blocks. This is a new node. I have 189 delegators on the Crow node and growing. We have 11.61 million ADA delegated and staked to the Crow node. So it's just, as you can see, it's just growing, growing and doing very well. I'm very proud of it. Um, and it's a lot of fun. And, and it's basically a dividend stream. I mean, you could kind of think of it like a dividend in a way. Um, because based off of how much you own and what you've staked is kind of going to kind of dictate how much in rewards you, you get back. Roughly, it's around 5%. Some nodes are doing a little more. Some are doing a little less. But there's, you know, you don't know who's running a lot of these nodes. And you just, you know, it is what it is. Um, it, you don't have to stake on the Crow node. I, I mean, I, I'm here. We're, we, we're um, you know, everybody knows me in the Cardano community. Uh, I, you know, people call me King Cardano for a reason. I mean, I've been bullish on Cardano. I've had Charles Hoskinson on my channel several times. We chat, you know, like it's, um, I very much love this project. And so, um, you know, it is what it is. But if there's somebody else out there, you see another node and you think, oh, well, this looks good, maybe give it a shot. You don't have to use the Crow node to stake. This is just, it's here for you if you want it. If you like my channel, the content I put out, this is one cool, easy way of supporting each other. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So that's that in a nutshell. I, and you can refer to this. The link is going to be in the description of this video. You can go check it out. You can see what the stats are. This is the website we created. It's not really done. Um, but this is Crypto Crow's Crodano node. And um, there are links as well to the Telegram group. So uh, we do have a Crow dono telegram group so it's basically everybody who is in the node or wants to be in the node or um 
or whatever and it's just a community and everybody kind of helps each other and answers questions and things like that so hopefully this video finds you well hopefully this video gives you enough of a, an understanding as to what's going on so that you're not fearful Hopefully you watch this other video so that you understand kind of the fundamentals of Cardano, why it's growing, why so much is happening with it, why I believe it's going to take over the world, quite frankly. Um, you know, the reality of it is even Charles Hoskinson is, himself has basically said, you know, we'd love to see a trillion dollar market cap. And if that is if that were to happen, which I believe at some point in the future, maybe not by the peak of this next bull market, but definitely probably by the next one. Um, so if you're looking to hold something for, you know, five or six years and, and just be stupid wealthy someday, uh, a trillion dollar market cap for a Cardano means a thirty two dollar, like roughly a thirty two dollar Cardano uh, or a thirty two dollar ADA. It's eleven cents right now. Uh, so do the math folks this is an opportunity for you to truly change your life and I do believe that the um, the income potential the staking yield uh, and everything about it listen ethereum which is basically what Cardano is looking to replace ethereum's fees are so ridiculously high right now that the blockchain is practically unusable for normal folks unless they're doing all of this DeFi stuff that I believe is going to be quite a bubble to begin with uh, and a lot of people are going to get hit pretty hard uh, you know uh, until Ethereum is able to really truly remedy a lot of these issues Cardano is coming up and once Gogan launches hopefully this month or by the end of this month and smart contracts are enabled on the, co uh, the Cardano blockchain it's going to swallow up a lot of stuff from Ethereum. And uh, hopefully you're on board and you're a part of that ride because I do believe Cardano is going to change the lives of many in the near future. So hopefully you're a part of it. Hopefully this video helps you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again very soon. Crow your coins and have a good evening.